okay, go with three, driverless operation, DTU. Now we're getting into more of this, uh, the type of system that I'm, I'm familiar with, because these are systems that I designed, Go three and Go four of the ones that I worked on uh, exclusively. Um, I have not worked on a Go two, and I have not worked on Go ones, but Go three and four are the ones that I that I've been working on for my pretty much my entire career. So Go three, uh, the system has taken control of the train in between station platforms. So in Go two, we had introduced the core functionality uh, that's required for automation, um, but now what Go three is doing is it's removing the driver from the equation in between the stations. So when the train is traveling from state from one station to the next, the Go3 system is now in full control. It's monitoring the station platform elements. Uh, the system will stop the train if track side elements are blocking a section of track, for example, tunnel vent doors. So if the tunnel vent doors are closed, that is input into the system. The system is aware of it and it will prevent a train from smashing through those doors. Uh, so any elements along the track that can become an obstacle are, are fed into the system and the system decides uh, based on those inputs whether the train can move, uh, can, can progress forward or not by controlling the movement authority. So in between the stations, the system has taken complete control of this, uh, uh, of this train. Uh, the system also protects crews at, at track level. So if there were crews working, they may have a system in place where a section of track is closed and the work crews are working and the train will stop before it gets into that work zone um, to protect them. So the system is aware uh, of, of sections of track where work crews may be working. <clears throat> so the automation between, between these stations is under control of the, uh, of the system. There are still... Uh, personnel on board the trains. They're not called drivers anymore. They're called operation staff and they're responsible for station safety. That's their main function. The operation staff, the open and closed doors, <clears throat> they determine if it's safe to leave a station and authorize a train to depart, usually by pushing this ATO button. Um, but they're not drivers. They're basically just opening, and closing doors and making sure it's safe on the platform uh, to depart the train or not. So in a Goa 3 application, uh, what they've introduced is supervised guideway, which is this third key functionality here <clears throat> um, to, a, to, to determine if it's a Goa 3 system. And, and again, the jump from a Goa 2 to a Goa 3, when I look at the standard, it's, it's incremental, not like the jump from Goa 2 to Goa, Goa 1 to Goa 2. So the first function, prevent collision with obstacles. So these are external devices that monitor elements along the track and confirm they're not blocking the track. And I've used the tunnel ventilation doors as an example. Um, there are doors that can be open or closed in case of a fire to create pressure to vent out the smoke and exhaust and other gases. Uh, and these doors open and close. Uh, in a Go3 system, they are wired up to the system and the system determines um, if it's safe to move through that uh, area or not. If the doors are closed, a protection zone is created on either side of that door and the trains will stop before reaching, uh, they'll stop prior to those doors. So they don't, they don't break that door down. Now, the standard does not mention this, but more and more there's, there's work being done on LIDAR or uh, machine vision, which can be installed on the train that could also fulfill this requirement. Uh, the train's moving along, it's able to see the track um, based, on, based on LIDAR or machine vision, it's able to determine that there is an obstacle in front of the train that it must stop and it may stop on its own. Uh, that system has not been implemented as far as my knowledge is concerned uh, yet, but there are uh, suppliers that are looking into this sort of capability. Machine vision introduces more autonomous trains. Um, but uh, suppliers are looking at uh, the ability to implement some of these things. And that would also satisfy this, uh, this particular function in Goa 3, in my, in my opinion. Prevent collision with persons on track. Uh, so this is now looking at uh, if, a, if a person has fallen on a track the system is able to detect it. And this can be accomplished by guideway intrusion detection systems. It's basically an infrared beam shot across the platform. If a person cuts that infrared beam and falls on a track, the system will be aware of it 
close the station and then trains will be prevented from entering that station. So that's one example of how um, uh, the system can detect if a person has fallen the track. There are platform level emergency buttons. If a button is pushed by the passenger or, or the operation staff, the station is closed, trains are prevented from entering the station. If there are platform doors, if any of them opens uh, when they're not authorized to, uh, the station is closed, trains are prevented from coming in. The system is aware that the doors are open. And, and now work zones. Um, the system has the ability to create work zones at track level to protect crews, as I mentioned earlier. So if a work zone is set, an ATO train cannot enter that track section. Basically, it will come to a stop. Uh, the driver would then, uh, or operation staff, would then change it to a, a manual mode and move through that section of track while observing that uh, there's no, no, no personnel in front of the train as it's traversing that part of the track. Um, so for this function here, prevent collision with persons on track, these are the types of functions that need to be implemented to satisfy the GO3 uh, requirement. So an example of a GO3 system, uh, in Toronto, we have the Young University Spadina line. In Saudi Arabia is the Mecca Metro, two systems that I worked with and I'm familiar with. Uh, both these systems have drivers on the train. Uh, the drivers, in Toronto in particular, the driver actually sits in the back. When the train comes into a station, they poke their head out, look down the line uh, to make sure that the driver, sorry, make sure the passengers have disembarked or, or embarked on the train, close the doors, and then push the ATO button to allow the train to leave. Um, that's a GOA 3 type of a system. And there are many of these systems around the world. These are two that I've worked on, and I list them here um, as, a, as a reference.